actually I meant to see if I could go in the other rooms while I was in here and I like super did not so oh, I can hi whoa aren't you plea no way you are totally awesome your plea the mysterious songstress I know all about your Fantasias? A fan, are we? I'm sorry, you have to see me in this unflattering training attire. Oh no, don't be, I don't mind one bit. You may not mind, but I certainly do. Also, you seem to have forgotten, but we are in a dressing room. Keep it down, okay? Yes, ma'am, sorry, ma'am. Your motives are far too transparent, Randy. Now, there's a few faces I don't recognize. Well, whatever. Just be sure to keep it down while you're in an artist's dressing room. Oh, so you guys are police officers, huh? Must be cumbersome to investigate the smallest of pranks. Front letters and the like are pretty front of the mill for stars like us. I'm afraid you're wasting your time on this one. I disagree. They're even adjusting the script in the final hour. Between fine-tuning the costume designs to ensuring the performers maintain their physique, I've got a ton of behind-the-scenes work to do. Rexy is still a total rookie, new not only to Arkham CL, but the performing world itself. That only makes her recent casting as the co-star of our upcoming production all the more impressive. Well, I suppose I can't bellyache much. She's been training her butt off from the day she joined us. I've been here way longer than her, yet she managed to surpass me. I'll be so mad at her if she screws this up. Interesting. Where's this go? I'm here now. Hi. Oh, you're those officers the troop leader told us about. I don't mind you watching, but please don't touch anything, okay? Is this the stage design you'll be using for the performance? Sure is. That design is specifically made to support the plays at Argon CL. Ilya requested some adjustments, so I'm in the process of applying them. With all these difficult orders, she's giving the troop leader's enthusiasm a run for his money. I am here now. Hi. I managed to get a role for this play. It's one of the most minor roles, but it's still for an Argon CL play. That's ca cause for celebration for someone like me. On the other hand, Brixia managed to become the co-star and she joined the troupe after I did. <sighs> Just thinking about it is making me antsy. Maybe we're on different levels. Also, aren't you a man? And the role Brixia has is for a woman. Although a lot of male roles were played by women in theater. Where's this go? Man! What about this one? Uh. Fine. Okay, we've done, we've done some snooping. Okay, I want to, it's this button that lets me teleport. Go back to the SSS just to check and see if they're... Are any new requests? Which there are not. Okay. Then let's get going to the back alley. I don't want to accidentally miss one just because I did not check to see if there were new ones. That would be just my luck. Treasure chest. I see you other treasure chests. I will get you one day. Ravache and Co. So this is the Ravache & Co. building. We knew it wasn't in the safest part of the city, but the way here was even shadier than I expected. Who the heck are you guys? This isn't a place for kids like you to screw around in. Go ahead and piss off. What? Ain't you those kids? Could it be... Who'd have thought we'd be reunited with a dear felon of ours? What? Who are these kids? They're those dang police brats. They're the ones that spoiled our plans in the downtown district. 
No way. It seems our reputation precedes us. We have come here today as part of an official investigation. Say what? We'd appreciate it if we could, uh, meet with your boss. We'd like to ask him some questions regarding a certain incident. Are you out of your dang minds? A bunch of dogs like you talking to the Don? Just how cocky can you runts get? He's not one of our suspects, we just want to ask him some questions. He, of course, isn't obligated to speak with us, so we won't force the issue. Can you boys at least let your boss know we're here? Appreciate it. Dang it, Arnaud. Your screw-up made these little... Jerks. Way too big for their britches. Hey, what's the plan? These idiots have the wrong idea. Sounds like we should teach him some manners, huh? <laughs> Sounds good to me. Guess we ain't getting in. Yeah, we'll just have to try again another time. Let them through. Hi. Boss. Sorry, boss. These kids were... Large man in a suit. It's fine. He's massive. Wald was fairly large, but he pales in comparison. This guy's a mountain. <laughs> you're the... those brats with the police then. I've heard the stories already, but you're younger than I thought you'd be. I'm Lord Bannings of the Special Support Section, and you are? Garcia Rossi. Garcia Rossi. I'm the general manager of sales at Rivage & Co. <laughs> I suppose most of the employees stick to boss, though. <laughs> oh, dang. I was expecting a big shot. I wasn't expecting a big shot like him coming out here to greet us. Yes, I believe he's Marconi's right-hand man. Come inside. I'll hear what you have to say. I'm pretty sure if we were actually pronouncing this dang Italian, it would be Rivake. I'm pretty sure C-H is a K sound. You're lucky. The boss is in a good mood. Get your butts in there. You better not even think about disrespecting him. Unless you're fine with having your lifespans cut short. <laughs> ha! So that's what this is all about. You think the Don sent Ilya Platier a threat letter? Yeah, I know. It sounds ludicrous. I'm pretty sure he would just kill her. Or abduct her. <laughs> or both. Ridiculous. You kids sure have some overactive imaginations. We aren't claiming it as the truth, of course. However, we heard of a recent incident between your boss and Ilya, and given that we are out of leads, we thought we should at least come to ask about it. You're talking about the Don getting smacked? That's nothing. Just a random little event in his busy life. He'd had a bit too much to drink at the time and barely remembers it anyway. I doubt he's holding any kind of grudge over it. Is that so? This is just another rumor we heard. But what about the proposal to have Ilya perform at the Heimdaller Opera House? Yeah, that was brought up. Hervace's got friends in a lot of places, and it was one of and it was them who actually came to us with the idea. But apparently the main reason was that the Don wanted to bring her in as a special guest for... For what? A special guest? Never mind. Nothing you need to know about. Anyway, that letter ain't from us. Yeah, Yin is not an Italian name. Shocker. <laughs> Do you understand now, kids? Even so... Do you mind taking a look at the letter just in case? Huh? Sure. Whatever. Hand it over. Here you go. 
Lloyd passed the threat letter to Garcia. What the heck is this? Whoever this is, he's dead set on getting in the way of Ilya Platier's performance. It's the signature. What was that? He looked like he noticed something. Just tell us so we can leave. Garcia threw the letter back at Lloyd. That's rude. What if I get a paper cut? This is a dang waste of my time. The red letter. This crap looks like nothing more than an overblown prank to me. But before you said it was serious, like literally less than a minute ago. Hold on a sec. Your reaction gave the impression that you know something. Don't know what you're talking about. Nothing in that letter looked the least bit familiar to me. All I can tell you is that the Don didn't write it. Oh, and that you guys are on a fool's errand. You know that, right? It's clear there's something this guy's not telling us. Whatever it is, he seems unlikely to reveal any further information. I suppose that covers things here, though. Is there any way we could hear the story directly from the Don? What? Yeah, getting it straight from the source would be best, you know? Or is he not in right now? <laughs> Literally every game I play, maniacal laughter. Okay. That was a lot of force. Don't go getting cocky now, kiddos. You think the Don has time to see a bunch of snot-nosed rookies like you? A group of naive and helpless puppies that he can crush in the palm of his hand. Wait a second. Normally, I wouldn't have even given you the time of day, but since I'm such a nice guy, I figured this would be a good chance to give you this one piece of advice. No matter what you do, you can't change Crossbell's true nature. Rapache's iron grip is here to stay. Pretty confident about that, ain't you? If you understand, then get the heck out of here. I don't have time to sit around having tea parties with a bunch of little idiots like you. However, you dare defy us again, there will be no mercy. I will end you. Thank you for the advice. Let's go, everyone. I think we've gotten all we can here. Yes, Roger. Well, this is the worst tea party I've ever been at. Ain't even any tea. And now there are tea parties in every game I play. We just finished a tea party in Ketchin the other day. Wait. You there, redhead. Oh? You talking to me? That shade of red. I've seen it before. No. You couldn't be. Whoa, whoa. Hold on there, Gramps. I love getting attention from smoking hot ladies, but old men, not really my thing, you know? Well, no matter. Hurry up and get out of my sight already. You were the one who stopped me. Make up your dang mind already. I was already leaving. So Randy has, like, some hidden past, maybe? No, but get the treasure chest that was down the alley. I want the treasure chest. What the heck? That went well. He was treating us like children. I mean, Tio, you, like, you're 14, aren't you? You are a child. I can't stand that jerk. By the way, Randy, why did he stop you as we were leaving? Beats me? Anyway, that big guy ain't bluffing. Where we are now, I doubt we'd be able to so much as put a scratch on him. You think? Did you see the force with which he placed his foot on that table? We would die. I sensed he considered us far beneath his notice. As if no matter what we did, it would barely register as a thorn in his side. Right, I got that impression too. Even considering his group's connections in the diet, he didn't seem phased at all. Ellie? What's up? Um, it's nothing. More importantly, how will we proceed? It seems like Rivace may know more than they're letting on. 
You mean regarding the threat letter sent to Ilya? Yeah. I don't think we can take everything Garcia told us at face value. That being said, I think the odds that Ravage is connected to this incident are low. Really? But he clearly reacted to the threat letter once he saw it, right? Yeah, because Yin. Without a doubt, he definitely noticed something. Lloyd pulled out the threat letter. Perhaps what Garcia reacted to was the sender's name. The name of the sender. That Yin guy. You think there's a chance Yin is involved with Rivache? Yin, conspiring with Rivache, wouldn't explain Garcia's reaction to the letter. It was almost as if he was sure this had nothing to do with them once he saw it. Don't you think so? Oh. If it's a good way to describe the look on that ugly mug of his. We can deduce that while Yin has no ties to Rivache, it is still a name they are familiar with. Is that an appropriate hypothesis? Yeah, I think that's safe to say. If that's the case, I think we should consult with someone who is more familiar with Rivache. Mr. Grimwood comes to mind. Grizzly Grim? I forgot about him. We haven't visited him since like the first hour of the game. If we're as close to the truth as we think we are, then it might be a good idea to discuss it with Grace too. Although... We give that woman the smallest morsel, and before you know it, she'll be trying to drag the whole dang story out of us. She would inevitably learn of the threat letter, and it would become a colossal ordeal for Archon CL. I was hoping you'd all talk me down from that idea, to be honest. We should try questioning any other people that come to mind as well. If we're lucky, we might even come across some information we weren't expecting. Yeah, maybe so. Ellie? Oh no, it's nothing. Shall we begin gathering information? We can start wherever we'd like. At some point, we'll have to visit the law office, though. Alright, let's get going. Okay, so the next objective is the law office. Can I... Okay, so that's like up there. It's not really down the hall. I have no idea how to get that. Um, can I go in here? I can. But there's nowhere to go within this building, so I have no idea how to get up there. Hi. I already told you everything I know. Just leave me alone. Let me sleep. Okay. Hi. I can buy things from you? What can I buy? Shiny blue. No. Although that does sound useful. It said revive and what? Restores 50% HP. A passionate cocktail. With a contrasting chill appearance. Sounds delicious. No. I, I want to talk to you. Been hearing some awful rumors float around these parts lately. Apparently, hey you has been blockading Ravache smuggling routes. Seriously? Are you absolutely sure? Remember, it's just a rumor. But it sounds like they've been strategically breaking down their opponent outside of the public eye. Thanks to that, no one, not even the Bracers, can intervene in the matter. That's good to know. Thank you. Um, since you're also down this alley, let's try talking to her. Well, I suppose I can make an extra stop to take care of that on my way to the IBC. Okay, no. She's still just about the quest we did for her earlier. This looks like a path I should be able to walk down, but I can't. Okay. We could talk to Grim. I want to talk to other people first, though, so let's go talk to Grace. Because I don't think it'll um, let me interact with this door. Yeah.
You're out here now? Huh? You need a cameraman? Yeah, I heard that you're a real pro at taking photos. We don't have a cameraman to help cover Arc on CL yet. You mind doing me a favor? Uh, I still have a bunch of work I need to do for my cooking column. We'll just go ahead and postpone that for a while. What? No way! Grace is not here. Where is she? Hi. Some mobsters from Ravachi and Co. come by every once in a while to speak with the editor-in-chief. They haven't committed any acts of violence, but they definitely aren't shy when it comes to threatening and intimidating him in any way they can. Yep, definitely not a fan of scary guys like them. Where the heck is Grace, though? Oh, well, I'm here now. I haven't gone in here lately. Oh, here's Grace. Come on, can't you give me a teensy bit more info? I'm sure you have all the diet members' emergency contacts written down, right? I'm prohibited from disclosing any contact information with the exception of the direct line to their offices. I'll have to ask you to leave immediately. Oh, come on, don't be like that. Can't you at least hook me up with the secretary's contact info? I'm sure someone like you has their info handy, right? I'm right, aren't I? Sorry, but I really can't do that. I feel bad for her. Grace can get pretty aggressive when she wants something. Yeah, let's leave before she redirects her attention towards us. Okay, so the game does not want me to ask race or anything. Um, I want to go to the East Streets. Let's actually go to the Bracer Guild. Let's see if Arios is here. Actually, let's talk to him. Ravache is a criminal organization entrenched deep within the foundation of Crossbell. For them, breaking laws is as much of an everyday occurrence as try tying their shoes. We can't so much as lay a hand on them, though. They've got all the corrupt men who run the state deep in their pockets. The best we can do is give them a good pounding, and even then, only if they lay a hand on the citizens. I've got to admit, the guild definitely has the CPD beat when it comes to proactively responding to the threats against the people. Yeah, by the time any of us cops get to the scene, you bracers are already there cleaning shop. You can say that again, honey. Honestly, if your co-workers were just a little quicker on their toes, they'd take care. They'd take some of the work off our plate. Arios is on the phone. Arios is talking through a last-gen international communication device. Ah, Grand Prince, it's been some time, your lordship. Yes, right. I understand. That does seem like it poses a problem. Understood. I will head there immediately after I've finished taking care of some urgent matters. Is he speaking with royalty right now? I thought I heard him say Grand Prince. Do you think he's speaking to the Prince of Remetheria? Okay, he didn't have anything helpful. Let's talk to the old couple. Hi. No, that's just about the bracers. No, this is still about the festival. 